How dare you come here? You're asking to die. Fung Hakun was born on the 12th of September 1948 in Guangdong Province, China. He was an actor, director, and choreographer, best known for his villainous performances in Kung Fu movies in the 70s and early 80s. His most notable role was as Banker Mo in the classic Kung Fu movie, Warriors 2. Fung was trained at the Peking Opera Academy of Madame Fan Fuk Fa. His classmates included future Kung Fu movie stars like Li Hoi Sang, Lam Ching Ying, Mang Hoi, and Maz. Fung is the son of famed character actor-director Fung Fung. He made his first appearance at the age of seven in the movie Seven Bodies, Eight Deaths, and Nine Human Heads in 1955, which was directed by his father, Fung Fung. As a teenager, Fung became a stuntman for Shaw Brothers Studio. He featured prominently in director Chang Che's early movies as both a stuntman and an extra. As the years progressed, Fung became more noticeable as he was given more visible roles in Chang's movies, like Vengeance and Boxer from Shantung. By this time, Fung had begun to explore his choreographing skills. He did double duty on the independently made film The Prodigal Boxer starring Meng Fi. Fung helped to choreograph the fights and starred as one of the friends of Mang's character, Bang Si Yu. Although he is not credited, it is common knowledge that he assisted Jackie Chan with the fight choreography in John Woo's directorial debut, The Young Dragons. In the following years, 1974 to 1976, Fung featured in 29 movies. A few of those were for movie studios like Golden Harvest and other independent producers, but the majority would be for the Shaw studio. Fung had some memorable on-screen moments with the late Alexander Fuchsheng. Although the two first worked together on the 1973 movies The Generation Gap and Police Force, their real confrontations began in 1974 with the movies Heroes 2 and Men from the Monastery and continued in the movie Shaolin Martial Arts and Five Shaolin Masters. However, perhaps their most memorable on-screen moments were in the classic movie Disciples of Shaolin, in which Fung and one of his frequent partners in crime, Xiang Tao, really went overboard with their rootlessness. In 1977, Fung began to reap the fruits of his labor. Although he still featured in some short productions, his real break came from a Golden Harvest movie. Samo Hung, having previously worked with Fung on the movie Shaolin Plot, cast him as one of the main villains in his directorial debut, the classic movie The Iron Fisted Monk. The following year, 1978, Fung again showed up as one of the main baddies along with another of his frequent partner in crime, Li Hoi Sang, in the movie Descendant of Wing Chun. That year, Fung featured in 16 movies, sometime in cameos like in Snake in the Eagle's Shadow or slightly bigger roles like in Enter the Fat Dragon. However, the movie that forever changed Fung's status and the landscape of Kung Fu cinema, the eternal classic Warriors 2. His performance as the scheming, duplicitous banker Mo is beyond legendary. His mantis style in that movie is unsurpassed. In 1979, Fung starred in six movies and stood out in three of them. Last to for Chivalry, in which he played the insistent killer named Prey, the magnificent butcher as the overly amorous Ko Tai Hoi, and Snake Deadly Act as the deceptive Yu Yi. In the early 80s, Fung continued his run of form. However, his main focus would be on his fight choreography. In 1980, he handled fight duties along with Jackie in Chan's Golden Harvest directorial debut, The Young Master. Then again in 1982, in another Jackie Chan directed movie, Dragon Lord, for which he was nominated for Best Action Choreography at the Second Hong Kong Film Awards in 1983. Throughout the remainder of the 80s and into the 90s and 2000s, Fung appeared mainly in small roles and cameos. 
His main focus remained on his choreography and other behind-the-scenes activities, which he continued to do up till the year 2011. Fung continued to show up in movies all the way up to and even after his death in 2016. In 2017, he appeared posthumously in the movie Soccer Killer. Having featured in 204 films, directed four, an action director of 37 movies, along with many other accolades, it is safe to say Fung Hak Un's legacy in martial arts cinema is very much secured. So, to Fung Hak Un we say, rest in eternal peace and thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and... May the Fu be with you.